And we do uh, have the runners readied up, so we will be getting underway in just a few moments here. And it looks like we are starting on the coast, so uh, we will see what that coast item is very early. And Renko is showing us it is the bow, so ladder will uh, definitely be required to see. Most times it is, but we will definitely need it. It looks like both runners are heading up towards the northeast. The reason they're doing this is they are looking for a sword right now. They are without a weapon, they have no way of combating any enemies, so they will be looking for a sword first and foremost. You'll also be looking for levels uh, and a way to get a candle because that will open up exploration as well. Uh, we do have Aegis uh, doing their uh, tracker right now, that's why they are paused. Uh, and we do see on Renko's side the small secret is 18 rupees. Uh, fairly large for a small secret. There are four of those in the game. So, uh, 18 is actually pretty good. And then we also see warps. Our first warp is in the northeast, and that leads directly below to the rasp spot. So that is one rasp spot taken out of the equation for a possible level. Uh, still may need it for the other one. We do not know yet, but it's not as likely that the runners will be uh, fretting about that to begin. Uh, a third is over in the forest, and Raiko finds a sword in the desert shop, so uh, good find for him. He will be able to do combat now, so uh, really good find on his side. He'll also uh, still be looking for his uh, candle. Our last warp spot is up at the White Sword Cave, so... Not really the best of warps. All of them are concentrated in the northeast. Uh, doesn't really do much. The waterfall warp doesn't really get him much space, and especially the one on the rat spot isn't that great either. Uh, we do have Magius checking out the forest right now. Can't do much. There are a few open caves in here, uh, but can't do much in the way of exploration. But he will have to take a death to get past those red dark nuts. Uh, Raiko, we did see a medium secret as well. That is also above the normal 30 that you would see. So, uh, money so far, we have yet to see the large secret, but money so far not looking to be, uh, a huge issue. Reiko is checking out the rest of the Lost Hills right now. Now, there is also Armos items that can be uh, gotten um, as Reiko takes a death on that screen. Uh, Armos are also very important to check out just because the item that you get there can actually be a really good item. So, uh, definitely... Something that we'll probably see Raiko check here. He'll probably check the two Force Armos and then go up to the Lost Hills Armos. Uh, there are two more Armos over on the uh, eastern side of Hyrule as well. So we do have a Narmos check here on Reiko's side as we have Magius heading back towards Vanilla Start. Uh, going to check out the few open caves there as well. So we'll see if he finds anything of interest. We have yet to see a level, so uh, that is also something to note. We're heading up to the very annoying Vanilla Level 2. Uh, a lot of runners just like checking this because it's a lot for just uh, 
one cave, but the letter is up there, so that will give him access to potions at a later point when he uh, chooses to uh, use that. He may elect to uh, show the letter immediately, and a very nice uh, sword swing there to uh, get past that Dark Knight. Uh, Magius is still checking out the uh, beginning of or the start area, and we do have Ryko uh, picking up his candle uh, from one of the gift shops under the second Armos, so uh, he does have the ability to burn now, which is great considering his start spot in the forest. And there we see our bomb prices, and very cheap bombs, 8 rupees, so 2 rupees a bomb, uh, much better than the normal 20. And we finally see level 1 over on Meiji's side, it is at the Vanilla Potion Shop north of level 3, so uh, good find there for them, and it will we'll see if uh, they choose to do any exploration or not. Rico continuing to explore over just north of the forest. Human has a heart container near the river, so that means that our white sword item is a heart container, so you're going to have to have four to six hearts to get another heart. Dodongo dwells close to start, so that tells us where level two is. Uh, could be under one of the bomb spots or bushes as well there, so we're still a little up in the air about level two. Uh, but a good hint nonetheless uh, about where level 2 is. But the other thing about the heart container is there's actually only three spots that by a river can pertain to in uh, First Quest Overworld, and that is uh, just directly east of vanilla level 3, the uh, waterfall, and then the bomb spot directly north of level 1. Yeah, uh, by start can also pertain to that power bracelet spot. Uh, normally you hope that it doesn't when you have so much left to explore around start, but yeah, it definitely could be there as well, which would mean power bracelet is required. And we see we have no problem with rupees, uh, 134 for the large secret. So uh, rupees will not be hard to come by in the seed at all. Uh, now also interesting to note that our overworld enemy set is not uh, too drastically different from vanilla, so we'll, we'll see a lot of our standard fare in the dungeons as well, such as whiz robes and stuff. We do have level 5 found on Magius' side as well, up at uh, vanilla level 6. So, Magius, while still not having the sword, does have a little bit of knowledge on where some of these levels are, but we'll not be able to do anything in this dungeon. Key blocked and uh, sword block, so we do have hints for Raiko, we see something about a magical key, I missed where it was, but, uh, good information regardless, and, uh, Gliok lurks with the power bracelet, so power bracelet is in four, and Aquamanus awaits with the ladder, so level one holds the ladder, very critical, uh, okay, level eight, so, yeah, uh, really good information, level one holding the ladder is very key, because that not only opens up of course the ladder, but also the bow, so a uh, very big piece of information there for Raiko. And of course he does also get to retry, so he saves all the rupees that he spent on those hints. Uh, looks like Magius is trying to do a wrap here. Unfortunately, if he does a screen scroll this way, um, it will not lead him over to the screen next to it. He will actually get uh, stuck in the wall there, so uh, hopefully it doesn't do it because otherwise we'll have to up A and go back to uh, the starting location on the coast there. Renko is now exploring the rest of the force and he finds level 8, so uh, we'll be able to see if uh, if he finds anything of interest. does get an early key and uh, transport staircase. Now, it is very possible that uh, this transport staircase will, uh, just by where it drops him off, uh, very possible that we have a segment of level 8. Now, level 8 is typically the largest of the 8 levels, uh, and he also gets a hint for Aquamanus awaiting in the Dead Woods, which we know is east of the Dead Woods in that potion shop. 
Uh, but that's also good information because he knows ladders there. He can make a beeline for it. And he does get a few keys to start out with and decides to abandon eight. I will expect him to make a play for vanilla level one once he's, I mean, for where level one's located once he uh, completes uh, the force burning. Does get a heart as well. And we see this arm of statue is also just a staircase. It is a potion shop. So uh, I believe it may be the uh, blue Armos uh, statue that we have to hit for the Armos item. And we do see Raiko making his way towards uh, Vanilla Star. We'll see him do a little bit of exploration here, but I imagine that he is making more of a beeline towards the Dead Woods at this point. Now Raiko does have bombs, so we will also see if level 2 is located uh, underneath one of these bomb spots, or if power bracelet will be required. Uh, he will find that hand in level 1 as well, so once he explores here, if level 2 is under that power bracelet spot, he will know that it is required, and luckily he knows that's in 4. But it does look- oh, well look at this, level 4 is also near start, so uh, definitely interesting, and a tough death for Magius over uh, on Death Mountain, uh, we'll have to continue and go back towards the East Coast. And, yeah, Wolfman, there are blue dark nuts in the overworld, and, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I believe they may have taken the spot of Tektites on the overworld, but I'm not 100% positive on that. Uh, we'll have to see once we get into a little bit more dungeon exploration. And it does look like uh, level 2 is definitely, unless it is in this location and Medius did not check it, which I do not believe he did according to his tracker, uh, but it is very possible that um, level 2 is indeed power bracelet blocked. And it is because there is our heart container, our white sword cave. So level two is in the power bracelet location. And there Reiko has found level one. He will get the hint for level two, but he will continue exploring because he does know that the, uh, the ladder is in here. Luckily has keys to be able to explore and uh, may have found the possible room very early here. Okay, we have another death on Magius' side. Uh, Raiko is still exploring level 1. Gets his heart container, so uh, he's in fairly good shape now to grab that heart container down there along the river. Uh, we'll take will be about a will be a 50% chance now because we know that the 40 did not work. Uh, goes to kill Aquamenus, very nice uh, boss to see and drops the ladder as well so uh, Raiko definitely benefiting there and reverse C so we will clear out this room and this could be our possible uh, ladder item or staircase item I should say. Uh, so yes, it is our staircase, so unless we have a segment of one, this is our item, and it is the Silver Arrow, so Raiko, oh my goodness, is in great shape, has the Silver Arrows, has the ladder, we'll get him the bow, so, uh, definitely really good shape, he got the hint about two, he knows power bridge that is required, but he knows exactly where to find that too.
Mage is discovering the uh, take any roads on his side. Uh, we'll do a little exploring of those as well. And there we have the Triforce pickup on Rocco Rider's side. So he claims his first Triforce at about a little under 13 minutes, but is in definitely much better shape now. So we have Ryko uh, going back to uh, where they started the seed, and uh, Magius is actually uh, heading back over towards the uh, over towards Death Mountain. Did not check the Desert Cave here, so he is still not going to uh, have his sword. Reco back into level 8. Looks like he is going to be searching a little bit now for uh, his any key and possibly the other item, but I can't imagine he would do uh, too much with it because of uh, knowing where he's at. Uh, any key would be a great find, uh, and if he comes across the other item, he, may, he will definitely take a look at it, but my guess is at this point, he knows power bridge that is required, but not much more than that. So he may uh, indeed elect to uh, Triforce and go a lot of these dungeons now. Uh, definitely with the silver arrows and the bow, those bolts voice are a lot easier as well. And Magius is back on the coast now. Uh, see where he, he goes. He is still looking for his... Uh, sword or a candle or something just to be able to do a little bit of combat and a little bit of more exploration. And if I say Gleox, I uh, messed up. I meant Paul's voice. Magius still uh, on this very horrible screen in the forest, trying to get past this red darkness, and it's just not working out for him. It's oh, just quite a really rough screen to get by. I uh, was able to get up to level 2, to look in there, but uh, nothing much in there, so we'll have to continue to explore elsewhere. Uh, Renko does have the compass for level 8, and Triforce is all the way on the other side, so uh, definitely quite the level 8 so far. Uh, we'll see if he tries to bomb up from the room here, or yeah, it looks like he's going to be using bombs here to try to progress further along. And he is able to. And leads them into more Gibdos. And wow, if that isn't a if that isn't a normal level in Zelda, I don't know what is. Uh, I think you found the path, and all of a sudden you're blocked, and you have to find another way to get there. So Renko is taking that uh, passage once again. Uh, we'll continue to explore for an alternative way around to the Triforce. It's out of rupees though, so uh, unable to kill those last two fools, boys. And has his bombs out, but he can just use a key to uh, get through this area 
And it looks like you may have found a path. Uh, empty room, no wall masters there, and may have found an item here with another key, so, uh, not a bad room to find. Uh, however, really hard to do the clips, especially not wanting to get hit. Uh, but he does have the blue ring, uh, which is great. As I said, money not an issue in this seed, so having the blue ring definitely helps him out. Uh, has his defense or doubles his defense and has the damage taken, so uh, that will definitely be a benefit for him. It looks like he is just killing these Gibdos to try to open up that shutter, and then he is just going to make a beeline for that Triforce. And we get another hit that Dodongo dwells with the Boomerang, so uh, absolutely no necessity for uh, them to even hunt for the uh, item in two, and wow, gets locked in this room with the Gleok, and well, yeah, can't get out to below for the Triforce, so we'll have to go back and take the other path. We do have a candle on the side of uh, Magius' screen, but uh, trying to use that candle to burn where Vanilla... Vanilla's second quest, level 7, is, which, uh, won't do anything in these seeds, uh, so possibly has their map a little mixed up right now. Reiko making another beeline right for that Triforce. He, he knows the path, so, uh, that will definitely help him out. Uh, maybe it's missing a little bit on his bush burns as well, uh, a little un unfamiliar, still apparently with the overworld, and so uh, we'll see how he uh, manages with that. Uh, of course, the bush he has to burn is the bottom bush on the far right there. And, uh, Reiko actually heading in the opposite direction of the Triforce right now. Um, interesting to see what he is, uh, doing in terms of trying to progress this way. Now, my guess at this point would be to use that, uh, second corridor that he sort of ignored that he thought the item was in earlier and maybe use that to see if that takes you into the Triforce room. It may be one of those instances where it leads to just a single room or he, he has an even bomb there so uh, no dice there with Goma. But yeah, he should probably try using this staircase and see if uh, that can help. It looks, however, like he is going to kill these Gibdos and try to maybe bomb south in the room to the left here. able to take out the Gibdos, and he will go over and... Oh, he can actually just walk south here. Uh, doesn't even have to bomb, so uh, that's the path he needs to take, and what do you know? Another diamond staircase, uh, so we might have one of our items here in eight, but we do not. It is actually just the other part of that uh, staircase, so uh, he will go in and grab his Triforce from the Stafo, and that is his second Triforce. He has now one and eight. Magius, however, is still uh, struggling with uh, his exploration, still needs to find his sword as well, so uh, definitely still having a rough time. Reko looks 
like he may be uh, heading for Candle Row at this point. Um, after this, I'd imagine he would want to go back and forth, but he finds six first. So six is uh, over southeast of vanilla level one. Uh, really a daunting level to explore, so my guess is uh, he is looking for Triforce and looking to get out of here just because it is so large. Uh, six tends to be tends to be in uh, shapes the second largest dungeon. It actually usually outsizes level seven, so uh, definitely something where if Raiko can get the Triforce and get out of here relatively early, he'll be a lot happier. So far in the dungeons, we haven't seen too too much difficulty with these enemy sets. A lot of Tektites, uh, which are replacing the Dark dark Nuts, it seems, and uh, Staphos and things like that, so definitely nothing too concerning. Um, Raikou's still going a little crazy with the Silver Arrows. Very, uh, Very low on rupees, not able to pick up those bombs. Slightly cheaper bomb upgrade though, but we might see the item here in level 6, so uh, we'll see if Raiko decides to go after it, and it looks like he is. Not a bad call, you're in the room anyway, so definitely worth exploring it. And we do not have an item, we have a transport staircase. Leads him to another key, which is always nice. Uh, it's better when you don't have to worry about key issues. Now, this could also be uh, one of our rooms that gets sniped by the Gorilla there with the boomerang. So, uh, actually has to walk around and kill him instead of being able to use the sword beams. But, he'll go ahead and give this reverse key uh, push to see if it's a staircase, and it is not. Now, as I said before, uh, he is just looking for Triforce to get out of here as soon as possible. We do have Magius still exploring over in the forest, tr trying to find uh, anything he can. Uh, decides to take any road, and we have Raiko finding the Magic Boomerang over in level 6. So, definitely nothing he wants to see. And it looks like Magius headed up towards the uh, White Sword Cave, so he'll be able to check out the waterfall here. and gets a large secret for his effort. So uh, definitely a little bit more money now to play around with. We'll see what he does with that. And uh, trying to bomb these dark nuts, I'm not sure what for, but uh, yeah, Reiko, uh Striking a little bit and uses his last bomb on the on the wrong area of the back wall, so uh, is out of bombs now and shape of that six is rather weird. Uh, we'll see uh, if he has another uh, way of exploring right now or if he is bomb blocked. Now he doesn't have enough to purchase there. Oh, he does have a key door here, so he will. We'll check up first, and then uh, we'll have to choose one of these key doors to use. And we have the map, so uh, that should help out a little bit. Let's uh, record know where he needs to go. Also, the Gibdos do have the possibility of dropping uh, bombs, which is always nice. Uh, and well. That's typical with level 6, this is quite the map. No drops from the Gibdos, so he just emptied about 10 rupees worth of arrows into them and uh, 
did not get a drop at all, so that's really unfortunate. But uh, with the wall masters, they do do drop rupees, and he also had a force ten count, so it does uh, replenish a lot of his rupees that he just spent there. Uh, that room he knows does not have a drop, so uh, won't do anything there, and we'll see if he gets anything out of this room. And that's a no. So at least now with the map, he does have a more direct idea of where he needs to go. Uh, looks like the track force will be hidden somewhere up in that northern part. Uh, we'll just have to see where it is. Um, but looks like he has to go out and around the long way just to get to there. So uh, we'll have to burn the key here. Uh, of course, at least he gets one right before. And that should open him up to a little bit more of the level. If... He's not bomb blocked. And no bomb drops from the Gibbos or the room. So, wow. And, yeah, we still have not seen uh, Magius check that desert shop for his sword. He has walked past it so many times. And we have level 9 at vanilla level 1, so that's good information on his part. Uh... Unfortunately, he can't do much without the Triforce or uh, his sword right now, so he still needs to go back and explore elsewhere. But uh, definitely good information to have on where level 1 is. And we have level 3 found at the corner bush of Candle Row on Ryko side. And uh, really uh, not too noticeable, but uh, Ryko did a quick uh, frame perfect clip and actually walked over the. Uh, entry to level 3 before you actually went into it, which was kind of cool. Uh, segmented level 3, so of course that can always be a little more cumbersome than normal. Uh, making quick work of the Lionels with uh, the very few rupees he does have, but able to clear them out. But, uh, being that that was where he came in, uh, I can imagine that he was only clearing them out for the purpose of hoping for bomb drops. Uh, because he knew there wouldn't be a drop in that room. We have level 6 fine on Magius' side. Now we know that all that will be in here for him is the, uh, blue boomerang, but his exploration will actually be hindered as well by not having the sword. Reiko taking a death, so, uh, we'll have to restart level 3. And yes, yeah, Cyber, I, I have it on in the background, uh, paying attention a little bit, but definitely, uh, constraint on the, uh, commentary here, and, uh, nice kill in that room for Magius. He did purchase bomb upgrade, so, uh, a relatively nice bomb upgrade for 98 rupees, so, uh, a little less than standard, but that's always good when you can get a, a bargain, even if it's a slight one. Unfortunately, not having the sword is still going to hinder him greatly in this dungeon. Uh, really hard to kill all the enemies, even with uh, 12 bombs and a candle. Reiko uh, still just having trouble finding out where to go in this level 3. Uh, definitely not a friendly level at all so far. And an another death on Magius' side, he's going to continue to explore level 6. Uh, really, the his main focus needs to be uh, getting the sword. Uh, 30, almost 32 minutes in and we still have yet to see a sword on his side. Uh, we have not uh, seen the Armos item either. That could actually benefit Magius if it is the White Sword or the Wand. We do have Raiko backing out of level 3 right now. Um, may elect to come back in a little bit here. And we find another gift shop on his side. So six hearts, that will be enough to go grab the heart container down at the river as well. And it looks like he may be making a run back towards level 4. 
or no, he is instead heading back to level six. Now that he has bombs, uh, not a bad play. He knows where he has to go. I do not believe we have seen level seven yet. Uh, still at large. Um, we know two. We know the location of two, but we haven't actually seen it yet. Uh, five. We have seen on the side of Magius, and I believe that would do it because we all have also seen nine on Magius' side. So. Uh, Level 7 is the only one that's still at large. We'll see if we get a hint for it here in level 6. And another rough death for uh, Magius here. Uh, still struggling to get through with his combat. And oh my goodness. Oh, this level, this level 6 is just absolutely horrendous right now. Renko just destroying things with his silver arrows, mostly out of frustration, I believe, at this point. Uh, restricted so much in where he can go and everything. He's going to take the uh, staircase here and head back, and he's going to have to figure out which one of those two rooms he has to bomb north from. And I, I just have to imagine continuously walking through that room with... The bomb upgrade is also very, very taunting at this moment. Uh, Raiko heading north. He is going to head into that section. Uh, there are... There is no bomb wall there, so he will have to take that staircase, but first he has to go back and get bombs. has already been over in that room, so knows he will not need it, so, uh, it is also possible, there was no, uh, item in that room from before, so it is possible we may be Dick Docker blocked as well. And Mage did find one, but he, uh, did not elect to explore it. Very interesting that he is electing to explore level 6 without a sword, but did not elect to do so in level 1. Um, but I can't imagine how much more of level 6 he's going to be able to explore without the, uh, without the sword. The Blue Korea is very, very tough to tank uh, with only uh, Green Tunic and Three Hearts. Uh, not a lot of luck there, so he does continue to stay persistent though. We'll go back in once again and try to make it through. And Raiko finally gets his bomb drop. Now uh, we'll see if he goes back to that staircase to uh, head towards that uh, row of four that will get him up to that northern section. Reiko currently bleeding a lot of time into this level uh, 6, but is finally taking the staircase. We'll be able to find the bomb wall to get himself up into that, uh, up into that northern section. Is this the room with it in? It is not, so has to go next door, so magic bomb wall. Luckily, he does have the map to help him get 
through it, and it is in this uh, reverse Seabroom, so uh, very trolley level 6 indeed. And possible that he can uh, get the Triforce out of this room. We'll see if it's in here. First, he needs the sword back to be able to attack. No Triforce. Uh, does get a fairy, though. Oh, possible Triforce still. Uh, we have Wallmasters in here. Uh, surprised that he doesn't pull out his candle in order to attack him. But nope, uh, does get a rupee. And we'll see uh, how long it takes Ryko to find this. Now, uh, definitely with how these rooms are shaping out, this is something that Magius will not be able to do much with without a uh, sword. So he will have to abandon eventually to hopefully go back and get a sword. Uh, Ryko just tanking traps at this point just to get to this Triforce. Uh, Gibdos have a bomb, which, you know, now he doesn't really care about. Clears out this uh, room for another bomb drop, so <laughs> level 6 uh, living up to its classic self. Uh, bomb starved at the beginning, and now he gets all these bomb drops. Uh, We'll kill these wall masters in this room. May get a Triforce drop in here. Uh, now, the thing is, is with level 6, uh, if there is a Triforce drop, it will... Well, the heart drop uh, is on the other side, so... Uh, nice ladder clip there to go pick it up. Uh, puts him at 7 hearts. And now we can uh, try to kill more enemies. Uh, still making use of those silver arrows. And still no Triforce drop. My, oh, but there was a Wallmaster, so he'll go back in and kill that. Or whatever took its place. A Regria, so. Oh, nope. We're still without the Triforce, so. On we go. Nice clock there to help, uh... Prevent him from taking any damage from these Gibdos, and... Well, why not? We're just gonna full clear the six. And, well, look at that. Level 6 has both bomb upgrades. <laughs> and finally, the Triforce on Raiko's side. Triforce number 3, and he is out of 6. Magius, uh, still doing whatever he can to get through this level 6. Uh... Just no progression here whatsoever. We do have level 9 found on Raikou's side, so uh, that helps him. He only has uh, 2 and 7 yet to see, or 2, 5 and 7 yet to see, but he knows where 2 is. Uh, I'm surprised he hasn't made a play yet for level 4, uh, but then again, knowing where 2 is, especially now that he knows that it's near level 9 and that it doesn't hold an important item, he may just be saving it for a little bit later. And yes, Wolfman, we did find the item in level 6. It was the blue boomerang. And hey, T Junkie, welcome. We have Ryko heading over towards the. Uh... Oh, there's level 7 at the forgotten spot. So, uh, Ryko now has information of where level 7 is. Once again, just like level 6, I imagine this is our Triforce and Go mode for him. However, uh, what that level 6 was, hopefully it's not that bad. Early map is nice, and, well, this 7, uh, I see a whale. And by a lake is an entrance to death, we know that, so, uh, Reco doesn't get much information out of there. Uh, but luckily, this level 7 is not nearly as daunting as you would expect it to be. Uh, seen about... About 25 rooms, so uh, definitely nothing too crazy. Uh, just gonna be looking for this Triforce to get out of here. Now, we don't know what the item in 7 is, but 
At this point, I'm not sure if Riker really cares, unless he comes across a whistle block or something like that, but already having most of the material that he needs, and we know that he will not need a reporter to get into a dungeon, uh, definitely helpful for him, and Compass beneath the Goma. So yeah, here we go, uh, making a beeline for uh, that Triforce. Gonna check out this quick, uh, just a stored corridor staircase, so uh, we'll just go back, kill the Gibdos, kill the geese, and progress on that way. searching for this item, uh, decided to bypass the Triforce room, so ho maybe hoping that he uh, is able to find the White Sword or Wand or possibly the Red Ring in here. There are still a lot of good items at large, uh, so finding one of those items won't be bad, especially knowing that we... Oh, well... That's... that sucks. Uh... Is he just gonna up A? What's he gonna do? He gives up the bomb. But... Yeah, uh... A lot of good items still for him to find, so... I would imagine, especially knowing boomerangs in 2, magic boomerangs in 6, uh, the only item he wouldn't want to see, really, is the, uh, book, so... Uh... Not horrible to search 7, especially with how small it is, uh, but just gets an old man telling him we have returns to the Force, which he knows, and so he'll go back around the Triforce and then maybe search around the start of Vault 7 for that item. Magius, back over towards uh, the start area, uh, if he goes down here, he may have enough to pick up this heart container, which... Won't be bad for him, but it is still not the sword that he needs. Uh, yes it is, so he is up to six hearts now. And once again, Renko out of rupees, but is able to clear out the room. Grabs Triforce number seven. And that will be his fourth, and he will, uh... My guess is he'll dive back in, but... Yes, he is diving back in for this item. And we do have uh, Magius back into level 1. We'll see if he does any more exploration here. Uh, really difficult to clear out some of these rooms without a uh, sword, so... Uh, We'll see how he manages with it. Now we know that room doesn't hold anything, so it's not a bad thing for him not to clear it. Uh, not sure why he's trying to clear that. He can just go pick up the... And we have Recorder in level 7, so not a bad find at all uh, on the side of Ryko. But, yeah, he's trying to clear out this room with the uh, Gria's... Uh, Pushing the wrong block, um, but we know that that room does not have a push block, so we'll have to continue on. And it looks like Reko is heading up into Death Mountain to explore. We know this will be a futile uh, attempt, and I think that may be the first door repair we've seen this entire match. Uh, no loitering. Uh, so whatever rupees uh, Reko did have, well, he doesn't now. Uh, 
Another uh, thing for Magius here is we know that the ladder is hidden beneath Aquamenace. Now, he has two bombs, so he can kill Aquamenace, but that will be the only way he's going to get his ladder because he does not have another method of attacking right now. Reko getting some of his ammunition with a 38 medium secret. And we have a death for Magius, so uh, he will continue exploring level 1. I think Ma the biggest difficulty for Magius at this point is the fact that he is trying to do so much without the sword. Uh, it took him forever just to get a candle for exploration as well. So, uh, not, not much he can do. Uh, Reko finds another medium seeker, so he's, he's in good shape with money now. But the sword is really what is, uh, what is the big detriment for Magius at this point, and, uh, takes another death. Riker finding another gift shop, gets his eighth heart, uh, but he's out of bomb, so he'll kill these Dark Nuts to see if he can get a drop. If not, he's gonna have to be done with Death Mountain. Reiko not getting his bomb drop. Uh, we'll try again. Uh, just actually skipping those red dark nuts. Uh, all of the red dark nuts up in Death Mountain, by the way. Uh, and it looks like he is just going to continue searching. It's the middle one. Uh... Another death on Magius aside as well. He, he needs to abandon and Raiko taking a death up at that uh Armos uh, has not checked the blue ring armos yet. That is the uh final armos that we have yet to see, uh which probably holds our item, which at this point is probably a decent item. Uh still have a little bit to find yet, but a quick rundown of what we do know so far. We know that the white sword item is the heart, the item on the coast, which uh, Reko has gotten, is the bow. We have the silver arrows and the ladder in one, which is huge. We have the boomerang in two. We have the power bracelet in four. Magic boomerang in six, recorder in seven, and one of the items in eight is the, uh, any key. So, we do know some of our items. We have yet to see the items in 3, 5, the second item in 8, or either item in 9, as well as the armless item. Additionally, uh, we only have one item left that is guaranteed to be outside of 9, and that is the raft. Reko is finishing up his exploration of Death Mountain. Uh, su surprised that he doesn't go into level 4 uh, relatively soon. And we do have uh, the first Triforce skip from Magia, so congrats to him for being able to do that swordless. Uh, but he is going back in to dive some more, and we'll just have hard luck finding these items here. Uh, Reko just finishing up Death Mountain. Should go back for uh, relatively soon because he also has the uh, potential to get the hint about level 5 as well. And well, Raiko gets another large secret, so uh, he also does have the potential to head back into 6 if he so chooses to pick up one of those two bomb upgrades. Uh, goes back to start and is whistling, it appears, to level 3. 
So, uh, or level 7, I'm sorry. So, he is making a play to go back towards start it. Or back to somewhere, I'm not sure where, but, uh, he is heading towards somewhere. Um, oh, to buy his hints. So, sail not to save the princess. Wrath not required, so we know the other rock spot is pointless. Korea grumbles with her quarter. Well, Brecht already told us that. And step over the water to meet, reach the magic key. So we know 8 is kind of ladder block, but Brecht already cleared 8, so he doesn't care. Does his retry to save his rupees. Uh, double whistle here, so I believe he is heading towards 1. May go and search level 4 now. Oh, nope. Heading into Deadwood. So, he'll eventually make his way up and find level 5. Uh, so, that should be the last little bit of information he needs here as well. Did not go up and check that armor statue uh, to see what that item was. Although, it whatever it is, it is not absolutely required. And we do have the Silver Arrow get on Magius' side here momentarily. Uh, however, it does have to go down and kill that Aquamanus. And, of course, uh, Reko at full... Uh, full money now, uh, but without being able to kill that Aqua Menace, uh, Magius is going to have to come back for the ladder. And it looks like he has left and is going to explore elsewhere, still burning uh, second quest locations. Uh, I'm looking on his Z, Z helper, and it does not, it actually, a big problem for Magius right now is that he has his tractor set to second quest, and that could possibly be his hindrance right now. He doesn't realize he's on second quest overworld on his tractor. And that is preventing him from actually uh, burning the right locations and everything else. So, yeah, um, that that is going to be a huge issue for him. His tractor is a little small, so I wasn't able to tell, but... Uh, Looking at the location of level 5, I see a lake, which is a fairy fountain, so uh, definitely is on the second quest overworld right now. Uh, so, Raiko now uh, heading back towards level 8, uh, apparently level 7, I don't know, he's heading somewhere. Level 6, I think. Yeah, we're going back to level 6. So, uh, he's gonna go and purchase his bomb upgrade, just to get back up to 11 bombs. Um, and then, uh, we'll see where he heads after that. Yep, and uh, Reiko is making a play for the second bomb upgrade as well. Uh, so he'll be up to 15 bombs. That should be a lot better off for him uh, to explore the rest of these levels. Now, Magius uh, did mark Monocle Rock, which Monocle Rock is actually an area on second quest that is not bombable, so hopefully he would notice that uh, he is uh, able to bomb there. Uh, that won't be much of a help to him because that's uh, any road. Uh, but it does look like he is heading... No, he is going into the... the warp, so he will not be heading where he needs to.
Branko uh, powering his way through to get to uh, this last bomb upgrade. And Mage is back in the northeast to explore a little bit more. We'll not see what he wants here, uh, just a secret. And Raiko is now up to 15 bombs. He will up A, continue, leave, and possible level 4 now. It looks like he is heading that way. Up, oh, Fairy Fountain visit first. I... Renko will make one of two plays here. He'll either whistle to seven and try to go over towards the grave, or he is going to go back to level four, and it looks like level four is the play that he's making at this point. Now, we know the location of level five, which he is still missing the information on, is located at the no level six. And yeah, uh, Mage is still being without the sword, uh, especially with the issue of his tracker being what it is. Uh, it definitely is looking rough on his side. for me just though is, is that sacrifice overworld that uh area where the sword is located is still an open area so he should uh still be directed to go there as an open cave but uh we do not see him making a play for it at all we do have Raiko in level four right now we know he is going to have to uh dig the power bricks out of here and while well, we finally spot our whiz robes as well Well, if the wizard robes weren't enough, we'll uh, throw some vinyls in here as well. And uh, just pur purchasing all those bombs, uh, Reko is a little bit low on rupees now, uh, but that does not prevent him from just laying into archery season on the vinyls. Finds his power bracelet, so that will give him access to level two, and he just needs a triforce out of level four to get out of here. Grabs a Triforce in the room directly above, so level 4 is now done for Raiko. He needs level 2, level 3, and level 5 yet, and then he will be on his way. He looks like he is... Okay, he is turning around. He is going to make a play for level 2. Should be a really quick level for him, relatively small, and he knows he knows, doesn't need the item. So I'm not sure why he is checking this power bracelet spot first. Uh, he did receive the hint that uh, level two was located near start, but does find the magic sword, so uh, that's good information for him. If he does manage to get two more hearts, he will have the option to try for magic sword. We'll have a 20% chance at that point. It's between 10 and 14 hearts. Maybe just still doing his exploration, trying to find the sword. Uh, but just, just no luck whatsoever, and here we have level 2 on Rekko's side. Has some light legs, but one of those light legs has the uh, compass, so that tells him directly where the Triforce is. Quick, quick, level 2. Uh, needs to go up one more room and we'll be able to head on. Uh, may want to uh, get a few rupees before uh, heading into level 9 though with how uh, trigger happy he is on, the, on that bow. So we have Triforce number 6 on Raikou's side. He needs 3 and 5 yet. Uh, we'll probably head back to level 3 here, 
Um, he does have the recorder, which if there is a dig dogger block, that will prevent that. Uh, but I do not believe there will be one in level three. Uh, and then uh, we'll have to head over towards the grave to get to level five. We do have Magius uh, heading up towards this blue armor statue. So we might see what this is and uh, fairly good price on the uh, blue potion there, 29. Uh, so he may pick one up, uh, but picks up the red and said, uh, has the rubies, so, uh, probably figures he'll save the time, but we'll check this blue armus. The best thing for him is this being the white sword. Of course, he does die before he gets a chance to see, so, tough break on that side, uh, We'll have to make his way back over there if he wants to be able to see what that armor item is. Of course, this level 3 does have Lamola, so, uh... You know, that might be annoying in itself. Uh, blue varieties are definitely worse, but, you know, red varieties still hit or hit just as hard. Uh, does leave after killing one to reset the run. That will kill, clear out the other one, but just bomb drop. Making quick work of that blue whiz rope with bombs. Uh, very good use of bombing right there. And does get a bomb drop from the uh, red whiz rope as well. And we got the item in three, and it is the white sword. So really, uh, blue tunic, white sword, that should be enough to make Ragnar feel really comfortable uh, and through the rest of the levels. Um, just has to find level five yet, and uh, then he'll be able to progress on his way to nine. And gets the map, which, wow, look at this level three. Just needs to try force out of here before he can continue on. Another heart container for Reiko. Uh, the other thing for Magius is he could hope one is at the Armus if he heads back that way. But uh, yeah, Reiko is definitely in great shape. As I said, uh, a lot of problem for Magius is still not checking that white sword, as well as having the wrong. Uh, wrong overworld on his tracker currently. He has a second quest overworld he should have. First quest up, uh, which changes some of the burning locations and bomb locations. Raiko taking a death to the Gliok, unfortunately. Uh, and shows it's rude. Yeah, uh, Gliok, not the friendliest of creatures to come across, even with blue sword and, I mean, uh, white sword and blue tunic uh, can definitely still be a pain to fight. Reiko heading back in, hoping to get this Triforce, uh, which, once again, my mullahs, uh, they can be a pain. Blue Tunic, they still take a full heart, and well, oh shoot. Now, the Triforce can drop in that shoot room, but in order to get there, he will have to bomb in from the right there, because the item for, uh, shoot rooms will always drop in the middle there. So it looks like he is going to bomb in to try to clear that out, but he gets the compass instead, and well, eh, let's go say hi to Gliok again. Has to, you know, go through 20 by Mola to get there too. Uh, picks up his bombs, does not get a heart drop, which uh, Lamola typically do quite a bit. They will give you quite a few hearts, um, but it looks like he's going to refill on health first, 
and then come back. Or he may just save level 3 till right before level 8 because that will give him a guaranteed refill and a short trip to level 9. Right, go heading over towards uh, the transition screen in the Lost Wood. Uh, apparently, you gotta hit the Fairy Fountain first. Not a bad choice, it's on your way. We'll see if he uh, heads back to level 3 or if he makes a pass at the grave. And he is going back to level 3 first. Magius is one screen north of where the sword is. We'll see if he heads down to check this cave. If he does, he's in a lot better... No, he is heading north! Oh my... Magius, go back! Rico, with his uh, health now, uh, able to take a few hits from... Uh, this line will, uh, before, uh, progressing on towards Gleok. And, well, <laughs> can't go that way, because, uh, that's a meat block. Warheaded Gleok versus Reiko round two. Reiko has a lot more hearts this time, so it should be a lot easier. Uh, with the white sword, the first head takes uh, five sword swings to detach. Uh, each of the remaining three take three swings. He does do it, clears it off, gets Triforce number seven, has to go to find five, and then he'll be on his way to level nine. Like Meiji is heading back into level 3 at this point. And the Lionels are having none of it. Kick him out really quickly. Reiko is heading over. He's probably going to check his power bracelet spot first, um, after he checks the armos that he died at. Uh, we'll probably see him check the power bracelet spot and the bomb, bomb spot right below here, and then finally get to level 6 where level 5 is located. Reko on his way to level 5 now, uh, Mage is using his potion to refill against his Lamola. Uh, even with 7 bombs and a candle, the Lamola are no fun to deal with. Reko finding level 5, uh, able to do a lot more than Magius was. Magius was uh, sword and key blocked out of this level when he found it quite a bit ago. Once again, Reiko out of rupees, well, gets one rupee from there. Uh, looks like he is going to choose to go north here in level 5. Uh, not a bad idea to spend his key going north, uh, just because uh, level 1 
through six tend to build north. Then we'll uh, build like east and west. So uh, trying to go north as much as possible in the early levels is always uh, not a bad idea. Trying his ladder clip here so he can prevent from uh, needing a key to go out and around. Magius is abandoning level 3, and while well, Raikou gets another leave your money or your bombs, so he'll leave a second bomb down to 14, but still should not be too much of an issue on his side. Uh, possible item here, so I he will check it. It could also be the Triforce drop, so not a bad room to clear either way. And it is a staircase, is it a corridor? Yes it is. We would transport to another part of the level, so he is just going to no bond out of there and continue searching. More Yibdos for Reiko because why not? It seems he's been fighting Mall Seed. We have another potion buy on the side of Magius, and Reiko gets the compass, so he knows where the Triforce is. He's gonna make a beeline for that Triforce and uh, get on out of here and head over to level 9, but not gonna be that way. If I'm him, I'm just taking the staircase, uh, but he will probably try to bomb. Oh, no, never mind. He can go north here from uh, where Money or Bomb Guy was. Surprised he did not pick up that 5 rupee on his way through, but uh, he can just grab the Triforce out of the Gibdo. And there we go, Triforce number 8 on Raikou's side. And he is ready to go to level 9. So, uh, Medius finally getting the wand from that, uh, armor statue, so, uh, he has a much better way at, uh, combating now. We'll see if he ever finds that sword, which he will still need. And, well, hi, Ganon. That was quick. So, uh, yeah, uh, only eight hits needed with the White Sword on Ganon, so, uh, there's four. Raikou still, uh, will need to find the Princess afterwards. He heard the roar, found Ganon, needs to now, after he defeats Ganon and grabs the Triforce of Power, he will need to find a shutter door that opens upon immediate entry into the level. Uh, and we have... Uh, Media is still searching for his warps, trying to figure out where to go. Uh, but now he is solely looking for that, the compass, which will tell him where he needs to go with that, or, uh, also a hint from an old man that will tell him what location, whether it's the northeast, southeast, northwest, or southwest, that Zelda is located. In Fury, he still will need a sword. You cannot defeat Ganon with anything but a sword, so he still does need it in order to uh, defeat, in order to complete the game. Looks like he is going back into level 6 now that he has the wand. Uh, 
Ryko carefully navigating these halls of whiz robes. And it, yeah, he can bypass the white sword now. Uh, he doesn't know where white sword is. So we're to kill beef. So we're to kill the beast lies elsewhere. We know that. Um, at this point, my guess is he would actually find the white sword before the wood sword anyway. Uh, transport staircase number one on Raiko's side. Doesn't really put him any any much further along there, but uh, we'll continue to be able to explore. Another shuttered door, but it does not open, so it is not Zelda. Uh, so we'll continue just going along. Now, Zelda's room can be uh, accessed from any one of four directions, but it will always be a doorway, so you can never bump into it. So you are always looking for that shuttered door. Now, it is possible that he may be adjacent to her room, just has not found the correct entrance into it as well. Another shuttered door, but it does not look like it opened. Nope, it does not open, so we are still in search for the princess. Mage is having a slightly easier time with uh, level 6 now that he does have wand, able to clear out most enemies. The only enemies he won't be able to touch are whiz robes at this point, unless he uses his bombs for that purpose. Uh, another room. Uh, with shutters that do not open. Now this one has Zelda anyway because uh, any room adjacent to Zelda will never have two shutter doors, it will always only have one. And there we go! The shutter opens and we have Raiko on his way. And there is the princess. And Raiko Rider finishes this seed in first place with a time of 1 hour, 21 minutes, and 34 seconds. Get out your GGs. Okay, Mejus did state that they are going to finish um, the seed, so uh, really good for them to do that. We're going to see if Raku wants to get in here for a little bit of commentary. And what we're going to do, I believe we actually may have him in here. Hello. How's it going, Raku? Congratulations. I thought I was hopelessly behind when I spent like 10 minutes in level 8 looking for the any key and came up empty-handed. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was, a, it was a rather weird seed with how it played out, uh, like, the, the dungeons, while they weren't horrible, they were very linear in a lot of their exploration, so it was very, very rough to progress through, uh, but that one, could that be any friendlier to you? Oh, no, not at all, and when I saw that the, that the silver arrows and, um, the ladder were in level one, I thought it was going to be one of those seeds where Magius could possibly beat me, and then I breathed a big sigh of relief when I found that the white sword was blocked behind Landmullas on Ritalin and that ugly Wizard bubble room in level 3, because I know he wouldn't be comfortable uh, trying to tackle that dungeon that way, uh, and I wasn't comfortable with it either, so I put that level 3 off as long as possible trying to find the red ring. Uh, you may have noticed I spent a lot of time digging out items trying to find red ring or wand or anything that would make that level 3 easier. And the fact that that uh, four-headed Gliok had the Triforce was super rude. Yeah, uh, it was even worse that you were in the room, you took the death to him, and then you got the compass telling you that you had to return to him, so... Yeah, I mean, that, that made it even... Even worse, uh, the the big problem for Magius is he actually skipped over the white, I mean the wood sword cave, and has just 
for whatever reason, uh, just avoided it like the plague. He keeps one walking past it, but does not go into it at all. So uh, it's definitely caused him a lot of trouble. He found the wand under the Armos statue. It's the Blue Ring Armos. So that has helped him out a little bit with his combat. But yeah, not having sword for over an hour, not having really any means of combat definitely hurt him. <laughs> Really? That's where the wand was? And I just never checked that screen. Basically, the reason why I didn't check that screen is because when I found the hint for Ladder in 1, I immediately headed over there. And then when I found the silver arrows, I'm like, I'm going to immediately up A, go to the coast, get that bow. And then I just never thought to check that screen. Because normally, the way I like to route the overworld is I try to route the Death Mountain or Graveyard Armos with the Blue Ring Armos because they're so close if you just know how to do the screen scroll. Yeah, and that's, that's actually where I thought you were going, and then you headed up to Death Mountain and uh, ran out of bombs and actually went to purchase more bombs instead of uh, doing that. So it's sort of, I have I assume, uh, just threw off your running a little bit, and we do have Medius finding the blue boomerang in level 6. But, yeah, I, I figured when you're going through some of these levels, even though you're in pseudo-go mode, like, you knew early on that 2 had to be under power risk because you explored all the rest of the start and uh, we're told level two was right by start, but you knew power breaks that was in four, so you knew that information. So I assumed when you're in that semi-go mode that you were just looking for anything that could possibly help just that little bit extra because you already knew where Boomerang Blue Boomerang were, so pretty much anything else helped you out. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and as far as, as far as what I did with level four, uh, I, I saw the immediate ladder block, and then I noted that there were wizard robes there, so I wanted to try to delay that as long as possible as well. And then when I discovered that the power bracelet was in level 4, I was looking for other items to find, couldn't find anything. Uh, what do you think of that play to go into level 6 to dig out both of those bomb upgrades before going into those wizard robe dungeons? I think that ended up making a bit of a difference. Uh, I would say given that what level 6 was... Uh, in terms of, you know, that magic bomb hold just to get up there and really how much it ate your bombs at the beginning and then wanted to hand them out at the end. I, I don't disagree with it because we all know also how level 9 can be extremely detrimental in, you know, using up bombs and you you ended up having to use the second bomb anyway to get through one of those uh, life or bomb rooms, so... Uh, definitely not a bad play to go back and purchase both of them because you had the money to do so. Uh, we have Medius trying to get the map here. Um, now just an update on what we are going to do. We currently do have a match between, uh, I believe it is Air and I am blanking on the other one for some reason. It is, oh, Air it's and K-Mac. K-Mac. Yeah, Air and Eric. K-Mac over on Randomizer Mania 2. That's going to um, be a match. Yeah, so that that is going on right now. But uh, what we're going to do after uh, Raiko and I wrap up here, we're actually going to go ahead and give Magius the host to go, go on it and encourage them to finish the seed. Uh, I know that they want to finish it, so we're going to go ahead and give them the host to... Uh, you know, give them the support that they need because really that's what we we want these tournaments to be about is to get new people into Randomizer and encourage them to uh, continue playing it and get better because really that's the only way you're ever going to get better at these is to practice and play. Oh, absolutely. And I was in this very same kind of situation in the first tournament where I wasn't a very good player and I've come a long way since then. Um, but yes, absolutely, absolutely, go, go spam in Magius's chat. Give him all of your energy. How about we put some Frank or Z in his chat? Yeah, may, may not see the chat at first because of just, you know, the tournament rulings and, you know, keeping, uh, chat spoilers to a minimum, but being able to look back even and see all the support that, uh, we can give these runners, uh, is always a good thing, so... I, I encourage you all to do that. Um, 
and also, you know, go over and cheer on K-Mac and Era as well. Uh, we do have one other race on the slate today, well, early tomorrow. It is at midnight between Dragon Dark and Dig Shape, so uh, definitely be sure to uh, try to check that out as well. Uh, we'll probably be on this channel, Randomizer Mania, uh, but uh, definitely check out the schedule to uh, keep updated on that. I do have one more thing I need to say about this, though. Going further into this tournament, the kind of play that I put on today is absolutely not going to cut it. I feel like I played terribly. The Yeah, the thing with this is, is that sometimes you can get away with it uh, just because, you know, another runner may just be running into all the wrong blocks and everything. But uh, definitely, we have seen that we have a large amount of runners who are very gifted in this game uh even some of our newcomers have put on quite a few quite a good showing so far so uh definitely is going to be interesting to see as we progress further in the tournament i mean starting next week we're gonna be getting into uh a lot more critical matchups because people are gonna want to try to get to those two and three wins to either ensure themselves that they get into the knockout uh race or guaranteed into the uh, knockout round, so we'll we'll definitely be seeing some very interesting matchups come going forward. But I believe this does give you your first win. Um, so if you get a second win next week or the last week, you will be uh, given a spot into that knockout race. So uh, best of luck going forward on that, Reco. I uh, definitely would like to see you in that because, as you said, you have uh, progressed immensely uh, since you first started and. Uh, you, you put on a really good showing when you do all these randomizers at uh, charity events that you that you do throughout the year. So uh, best of luck going forward. Thank you. And I feel that I'm under a lot of pressure to win my next two races uh, because the because when the 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 race off got moved to uh, Saturday morning, uh, I have work that day. And as soon as I heard about it, I requested it off of work, but I'm not confident that I'll get it off. So that's even more pressure. Yeah, uh, I, I will. Uh, I do have to search a little bit into that. We may have to move it earlier, even a few hours earlier, just because that is also the day of the Super, uh, Super 16, which I didn't know. So uh, we may uh, look at adjusting the time a little bit more. Uh, so just keep an ear out for that. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. Yeah, uh, but I'll, I'll try to update everyone as soon as possible on that. But for now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign this off. So uh, as I said, we're going to be hosting Magius. Also, uh, be sure to check out Randomizer Mania 2 for the Air KMAC matchup. Oh. And oh, absolutely, oh, absolutely, go watch, go watch that KMAC Air race. That race is going to be amazing. Both of those players are extremely talented. Absolutely. Uh, but on our part, uh, once again, I am Crimson Avix. Thank you again to Wolfman2000 behind the scenes for uh, restreaming this race and uh, Doo Doo Dude for uh, doing all of our tracking. Excellent part. Excellent job by both of them. So uh, we will catch you all later and thank you all for uh, stopping by.